everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so good to see you. Today, this is going to be a way different video than what I normally film. This is actually gonna be on a topic that my good friend Aaron and I were discussing, kind of about just our history of handbag loving, where it stems from, why we love handbags so much, why we think we love handbags so much, why are we more or less, I don't wanna use the word obsessed, but very much in love with bags. And we thought maybe we'd go ahead and put this information out there just because maybe you guys relate to this. You know, we'd love to hear what you guys think about your journey and everything like that. Um, this is a little bit of a lighter thing, but I'm gonna show you my bag of the day first, and then I'll go ahead and get into the topic. So. Bag of the day, my Marc Jacobs, the tote bag in the size small and the color Citronelle, and it's great. It's been rainy and misty, and I think that this is such a good hard-wearing bag for the bad weather. Anyway, so the topic that we're gonna talk about is like our handbag journey, where it stems from, like the love of handbags, and just kind of like our journey, because it happened about midway through our life. You know, I'm currently 43, um, and I'd have to say that I really have liked handbags. For my younger adulthood, I liked them, but it didn't get more and more like into a love relationship until closer into my mid to late 30s. So back in 2006 that's when i had i had already graduated from college i graduated in 03 i was out on my own i was making my own money at my real job and in 2006 is when i really kind of discovered coach and loving just and appreciating the quality of those bags just amazing quality i was in a relationship with my then husband, um, we were still just kind of dating. We hadn't gotten married yet and he bought me a coach bag. And from then on, I was like, ooh, I really love these. So I had a small collection of like four to six coach bags, nothing crazy. Wasn't like, these are my world. You know, I love to buy other things. I was into other things. I was into traveling. I was into just being young, going out. I was in my twenties at this time. But you know, every now and then I would pull my bags out, condition, clean them, and he's like, wow, you really you know, appreciate your bags, and I did. Like, but I wasn't like head over heels thinking about bags all the time. I also had a couple Dooney and Burks back then, um, so I had a mix of like Coach and Dooney, and that was kind of all I really knew. Um, so that was like an 06 time period. And that's kind of the way my life was through my 20s. I was very focused on you know, wanting to start a family and got, you know, got married in my mid twenties, um, wanted to, you know, eventually have kids, but my husband and I were really focused on just kind of like, you know, getting through the recession <laughs> at that time. It was like, oh wait, oh nine, I'm in real estate. So it was definitely interesting times back then. Wasn't necessarily thinking about bags at all, <laughs> like period. Um, I was more just like into kind of clothes at that time and like anything material like that, it was more like clothes, you know, focused. Um, but yeah, like we were moving houses, you know, kind of building up, trying to, you know, join in together and build a future more. So we had our first son in 2010, um, and you know, I wasn't still focused on bags at that point in time. So jumping to, I would have to say about 2014-ish, that's when I had actually sold off all those coach bags from 06 at that point. So like eight years down the road, I'd sold off everything because I had found a Vera Bradley. Now, I think it's so funny that I was so into Vera Bradley um, because Vera Bradley kind of at like in the, 2014 time period lots of like high school girls college girls and like women who are more mature were really into vera bradley and i think that's still the case i don't know i'm not into them anymore but that was like 
an obsession of mine. I started to watch YouTube then. So in like 2014, following people reviewing their Vera Bradley bags and just really, really into that. Now, in 2014, my then husband at the time and I were really trying to have our second child and we had a loss and it was very devastating. So um, I had an ectopic pregnancy and it was just really, really rough. It took a toll on us, like on our marriage and it just took a toll on me big time. I just lost it and I started just as therapy buying tons and tons of Vera Bradley. I think it's because like the prints were so uplifting and they made me happy. Um, the happy cheerful colors the prints i was just really looking back on it in such a dark place not necessarily because of the loss of the baby but other things like i think at that time my marriage wasn't going great and i think i was just trying to survive you know he traveled i was kind of alone with dean my older son a lot and like this was my method of happiness was shopping and buying Vera Bradley and watching all the reviews and just kind of like escaping like I think I was truly escaping and I want to say this was when I was like 34 to 35 years old I was in 14 so I was kind of starting a feeling of a midlife right then um but nothing crazy like I wasn't going off the deep end or anything Come 2015 though, we did find out that we were expecting our now son who's eight and you know, that did uplift life um, for me at that point. So <laughs> um, we move ahead a few years and I did end up like selling the entire Vera Bradley collection because well, I just was like, this is a little juvenile. I was like, to me, not necessarily a style I was going to be loving. And a little bit of rockiness happened with, you know, the marriage in 2017. So, um, he did end up purchasing like a couple LV bags for me. Um, and which was great. I think it was just more of like, Hey, you know, check out this because I think he really likes them. And I was always curious about Louis Vuitton. Um, never really knew anything. Like when I went to the Louis Vuitton store in 2017 in Vegas to buy my first bag or for him to buy it for me, I had no idea what Vaquetta was, what the canvas was even made out of. I had not done any research. So literally I'm there at the counter and they're showing me bags and I'm like, okay, I think I'd like that because it has a strap. You know, I'm like so out of touch basically at that time. So I did end up getting the Turin PM as my first LV bag. And then um, I think a couple months later, he got me a Neverfull, which by $1,200, I think was the cost of a brand new Neverfull. It was like 1250 <laughs> with the pouch. So, I mean, I ended up getting those two and still kind of carried a couple of the Vera Bradley bags too. I didn't just have LV, just those two bags, but Anywho, so ultimately um, we did end up splitting in 2018 and it was fine. Like him and I are like very good friends, by the way. So I don't want this to sound horrible, you know what I mean? But I'm just kind of going personal here. So in 2018, by that time, I was really watching a lot of YouTube videos, watching like my friend Tiffany, LV Coffee Lover, Joshi Michael, Jerusha Couture, um, Oh, Lux Purse Love. I think I watched her a lot, like, because they were very much into Louis Vuitton. That was definitely, like, obsession time for me, um, which was kind of crazy because I was going through a divorce and financially probably should have been a little bit more smarter. But I was like, you know, I had a small collection of probably, like, six bags and some SLGs and just was like living my life, you know? So I kept that small collection, kind of 
bought and sold from time to time. Um, intermingled some like Dooney in there um, and maybe a couple coach bags I would buy. And then come like 2021, that's when I started my YouTube channel. So it was January of 2021. Um, that was definitely a time when I was just getting very much into bags because I was like, hey, I'm starting my own thing. I'm gonna do this YouTube channel. It was absolutely then at that point a little bit out of control and feeling like I'm in YouTube space now. Do I really feel like I need to be buying bags to create content? Um, and that kind of was the first year of YouTube for me. Like, I think that there's this conception of brand new YouTubers, they feel like they have to do unboxings all the time to get views. And I'm telling you what, like if you're new, that's great. I think doing reviews is a great place to start, but you don't necessarily have to unbox constantly. And don't feel pressured to buy. That's a whole nother subject. But for me, that first year really did kick off more of like analyzing to the nth degree my collection because I don't know, I just didn't want the world to like judge what I was bringing in and out of my collection, which is so silly because probably no one cares. <laughs> like, I, you know, at that point in time, you're responding to comments, um, you know, you feel like maybe there's people watching like, oh, she brought that bag in, why'd she sell it so fast? You know, or why, why are you spending all this money? It seems crazy or something like that. You know, just like there can be some negativity that does come in and you're not used to it. So, um, yeah, that was basically 2021. Um, you know, again, I started off my channel like reviewing Louis Vuitton a lot. And then um, the following year sold off my whole entire collection because um, I was freaking out that I was like, you know, I bought a new home at that time. I was feeling like pressured financially because I'm commissioned only at my job. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell off my LV bags, make 10 grand, and then buy new coach bags. That would be a fourth of the price basically. And then still have some stuff to enjoy, love, show on my YouTube channel. Um, so that was, you know, then, then I went back into LV again and buying pre-loved bags, Balenciaga, I think you guys remember that, like just a lot of the pre-loved older bag styles, some Celine and, you know, Gucci and YSL, and then also keeping a big LV collection and then like no contemporary bags. So now when this is all said and done, like my journey has taken me to this place where I'm at now and it is in a place where I feel good. Like I feel like the up and down and the wave and everything like that is over for me because like emotionally, I feel like I'm in a really, really good place right now. I just feel also that I have more goals for my life, like coming now this year. Um, and you know, I don't need to just sell by, sell by, sell by. Like it was going crazy for the last three years, to be quite honest. Um, I'm feeling like everything that's in my collection right now is so, it makes me super just content. Bags don't make me happy. However, I'm content with what I have. So what makes me happy is just myself finding joy with my sons and finding joy in my relationships um, and just within myself, you know? So yeah, I feel like the whole point of this video was just to talk about where, you know, in the middle point of our life or any point of our life, if there's a down point that we're feeling, I feel like handbags kind of took, took over in a way and just kind of made me a little bit more, I mean, it helped therapy wise, I will have to say, I think, you know, like it doesn't necessarily mean that whenever I'm sad, I go and buy a bag or whenever I feel anxious, I wanna shop. But 
I look back on it now and I'm like, you know, maybe, maybe during my thirties when I was buying all that Vera Bradley, it seriously did like kind of get me through probably the darkest, one of the very darkest parts of my life, I will say. Um, so that's just interesting for me to think about. Um, but now I'm like, I can't even handle Vera Bradley, but, um, and no offense if you like it. Like, I am sorry if I'm offending anybody in this video, but this is seriously probably one of the most personal videos I've ever made, just because you're hearing a lot about my personal background life. Um, and I'm sorry, it's like kind of all over the place. So, like for now though, um, just moving on, I, again, feel very confident that I'm in a place of somewhat of a purse piece. I do only plan on buying probably a couple bags this year. I really don't necessarily need to buy more. Um, there's going to always be a temptation, even when I make like huge sales or, you know, anything like that where, okay, I've got this, great, I can go ahead and buy anything I want right now. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that I need to um, because there's just so much more to life to enjoy um, rather than bags. So I just want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Again, this is just very personal. Um, I want to thank Erin. You know, we definitely chat so much every other day. She is such a close friend of mine. And, you know, we just, our relationship goes beyond bags. So, um, but yeah, she's just wonderful. Check out her video too about this topic and kind of let me know what you think. So thanks so much for watching and do stay tuned. I do plan on continuing YouTube, obviously, um, but it's just going to be, you know, kind of more talking about certain topics that can be relatable and um, also bags, you know, certain handbag reviews that you might want to do, like watch um, comparison videos and all that. I still definitely enjoy that. So thank you guys so much. Take care and we'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.